My life is over. I'm pregnant. It was graduation day and even though the sky was grey and gloomy, Polly, my best friend and I did not let it get us down. When we arrived to Ben's house for the graduation house party, we couldn't have been more excited. Bring down the rain and thunder, we are here to have fun! I sat down to greet two of the girls from school in one of the rooms and took a look around. It was only 8pm and it seemed everyone was already tipsy. Polly disappeared to get some drinks and it looked like the boys in the year below us are helping her out. I decided to take a walk through the dance floor where everyone was just going crazy because of the insane sound system Ben had. I walked through and found Matt, my boyfriend. The minute he saw me, he shot through the crowd and held me like we hadn't seen each other in years. I literally had just seen him in the afternoon. He took my hand and we went together to the couch where I told him proudly about how well I did in the interview with the university. So well in fact, I was accepted! Yay! After he heard that, he congratulated me and went to pour me a drink. Normally, I would just say no because I don't handle alcohol very well. I would just say that I have to go home, I don't want my mom to smell it on me. But I thought, no, not this time. I was so proud of myself that I got into this university that I think a little congratulations are in order. So, cheers! First, it was one glass. Then it was another, and then another, and then another. The more I drank, the more my consciousness and memory faded away. The one thing that did stay was how hot and intense it felt to touch and kiss him. As we kissed, he led me to one of the bedrooms with one hand opening the door and the other rubbing around under my top. The alcohol just made me forget everything. All I could think about was all these new sensations that was happening to me. The short, intense pleasure from sex was something that I had never felt before. When we made our way onto the bed and made love, I didn't even for one second think about the consequences that would follow. About a month after that, I started to feel strange. While I was helping my mom cook, I smelled something that made me so nauseous. But, you know, I had been under a lot of pressure from university and not to mention all the stress from exams and college applications from before. So, uh, that had to be what it was, right? I started to be alarmed when I realized that my period hadn't come in almost a month. And I was getting more and more tired and more and more nauseous too. I have to call Matt. Since that night, we hadn't really been talking much. When we spoke, he told me he didn't wear a condom because it felt better for me without it. And it was just one time, so what's the harm? So I told him what had been happening and the thing that could be, you know, the cause. And he, he went quiet and hung up. I tried to call him back, but he wouldn't answer and eventually his phone was just turned off. I just curled up and cried. I was scared and completely lost. So I called Polly and she ran to get a pregnancy test and then everything that I feared came true. My dream of being a social worker just crumbled before me. There's no way I can go back to university now. It's over. My life is over because I'm pregnant. When I couldn't hide it anymore, I had to tell my mom. I really didn't know how she would react. She raised me as a single mother and worked all of her life to give me the opportunities she never had. And look at where that got her. When I told her, the look on her face and tears streaming down her eyes felt like a knife stabbing deep into my heart. What a terrible daughter I am. But quickly, she pulled me in close and comforted me with the words that I didn't expect she'd say. She told me that everything is going to be fine and that we're going to get through this together, the three of us. Patty! 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 Someone was trying to wake me up. It was Polly. What? What happened? I was so confused and my head was killing me. Polly then explained that I was so drunk last night and when Matt said that he was going to take me to bed, she told him that it wasn't a good idea because I was too drunk and so was he. So she stayed with me the entire night to make sure I was okay. I completely blacked out and don't remember any of this. My dream could have easily become a reality if it wasn't for Polly looking out for me that night. On my way out, I went to say bye to Matt, who seemed pretty upset about last night. I guess it really bothered him because he broke up with me the next day and started seeing someone else. It was okay though, because Polly was there with me the entire time, helping me through the breakup and reassuring me that everything would be okay. 
Three weeks later, while my mom was driving me to the school orientation, she gave me the talk, seeing as I would be entering my first year at university. Out of all places, it was in the car. But I don't mind, because after that dream, I realized how important it is to practice safe sex, no matter the situation or the circumstances. Not only does it prevent unwanted pregnancies, but also from sexually transmitted diseases as well. 